Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2023. Uh, is it a good idea to reach out? So this reading is for the Cancerian individuals that are currently in no contact with somebody. Uh, even though this is love focused, this would be with anybody. So we're going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual or uh, for you to answer to this individual if they reached out and what will happen if you had communication with this person again. So apply this to your own unique situation, switch your roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So Cancer, tell me about the person that Cancer is in, is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Cancer to reach out to this individual or answer this person if they reached out? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2023. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. Is it a good idea for you to reach out? I would say no. I mean, with the Five of Swords here, I feel like this person has played a lot of games here, mind games here with you, uh, Cancer. Okay. Uh, it does seem like this person is waiting for you to come back. I do feel like this is an individual that wants to, um, you know, maybe they want to give you the clarity that you're looking for. Uh, you know, I just feel like, I just feel like this person is just not quite, is not going to be quite clear here with you because I feel like this person has never been. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person could have made promises, but never really materialized here. The Cherry Cancer Energy, Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands and Judgment here, Sagittarius Energy. You know, I feel like this person hasn't really changed. I do feel like a lot of the times, you know, the uh, games that this person was playing really stemmed from their traumas here. So I feel like this person still, yeah, they really haven't learned from their mistakes here. I do feel like this person's definitely facing their, car facing their karma here. But, you know, I also feel like they're not really doing anything about it. I mean, they have a chance, they have an opportunity here, but they're not. Five of Swords, Justice with the uh, with the uh, uh, Libra energy, with the Justice card. We have the Five of Swords here and the Four of Wands in the reverse here. There's going to be a lack of stability in this, uh, in this connection. There's a lack of balance here. Four of Pentacles, you know, I just feel like this person has nothing to give. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I just feel like this person is really in the chore. Okay. Uh, Nine of Wands. Five of Cups. Judgment. In the Four of Cups here. You know, I just feel like, I, I also feel like this person's just not happy without you either. No, they do have regrets. The thing is, I feel like this person's not really doing anything to make any changes. It just could be that this person's not ready for that cancer. Okay, so uh, what will happen if there is communication with the person that cancer is known contact with? What will, what will happen if there is communication here for uh, March 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for cancer? We have the Empress, Libra Taurus. We have the Knight of Wands here. I do feel like this is someone that you're actively avoiding here because I feel like you've changed as a person here through this no contact. You elevated yourself. You reclaimed your power here. You know, you're good on your own. I do feel like this individual is fearful that they will lose you. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Empress, Leva, Taurus energy here. Page of Swords and the Magician. 
I mean, they're definitely curious about what you're doing here. You know, I feel like this person is going to put out little subtle signs that they want to talk. You know, maybe liking your uh, post on uh, social media, maybe, you know, sending you DMs and stuff like that. But yeah, I feel like they're going to be really subtle about it. They're not going to outright say like, hey, what's going on, Cancer? Like, how you're doing and stuff like that. But they're going to try and get a reaction out of you by doing these subtle things, okay? Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the, uh, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like this person, you know, one of the things I, I feel like you just don't want to deal with this anymore because I feel like this person has really confused the crap out of you. Yeah. Kind of made you feel really insecure. You just want to close out the cycle with this person. You don't want to talk to them with the high priestess here. With the high priestess, you kind of really, you know, wised up here. But like I said, I feel like this person is going to send you little subtle messages to see if you would reach out. Yeah. To see if you would to see if you would react. King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, the high priestess here, uh Cancer Pisces here. We have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You know, one of the things is I just feel like if this person has treated you as an option here, I just feel like you're not going to allow that to happen. Let's say if this person wants to, one towards another queen here. I feel like this this person's dropping the other person to come and be with you. Yeah, it's so we have a queen here. We have a king and an empress here. So there are, there are three people here. There are three people here. Yeah, if this person went towards somebody, yeah, I feel like this person's missing you a lot and they feel like they want to come back around. You know, it could be a situation that Cancer, this individual made a wrong decision here. Yeah, this person left you to be with somebody else. I mean, they could still be with somebody else right now, okay? But they could be sending out subtle messages to see if you re to see if you would react, okay? And, and, and it could be like maybe a doorway for them to like maybe bridge a gap with you to have a conversation. Because I do feel like they want to come back because they're seeing you as their wish fulfillment. They're finding you attractive here or that they're, they still have the hots for you, Cancer. Okay? So, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.